Welcome aboard for another video. Thanks, Conductor Keith. The purpose of this video is to drive this train and our friends on board from here, the Pencross Railway of Eastern Ontario, all the way to Denny, Scotland, to the Rutabaga Railway. Do you think I'm kidding? Watch, because I'm not. We have our General Electric 25 tonner. We have the rail car, that's a shelter, supplies, etc. Conductor Keith is right there, he's coming along. We have our outdoor car for nice weather. We have the Friar and Henry and Marge. And bringing up in the rear in his custom made by Steve Robson of Devon, England. Rail inspection chariot. We're leaving the station of Rousel. The ultimate destination will be Port Rousel. The people of this train are going to retrace the routes back to this ancestral homes in the United Kingdom. This is Turnip. This whole town moved here to Eastern Ontario from Vancouver Island uh, a year ago. On Vancouver Island, the town was called New Rutabaga, as shown by this sign. Well, the whole railway moved here to Eastern Ontario and renamed itself Turnip. But the oldsters here still can't seem to bring themselves to call it Turnip. So they call this town New New Rutabaga. And so the auspicious occasion is that we are going to go, we're going to travel to the St. Lawrence River, where we're going to take a barge, and then the barge is going to cross the Atlantic Ocean, and then we're going to take the rails all the way to Rutabaga, in part the ancestral home of the Pencross Railway of Eastern Ontario. Everyone has already said their goodbyes, so with a little fanfare, we're going to pull out of Rousel Station. And now our train is going to pass out of the loop of the Pencross Railway of Eastern Ontario, the industrial loop here, and it's going to go off and head toward the St. Lawrence River. Well, the tugboat's on the St. Lawrence River here and it's heading down toward the Atlantic Ocean. On board, you see that uh, Conductor Keith and Lord Michael are driving. Henry and Marge are sitting in the chairs inside there. We have the fryer and, of course, the rail cars. So there they go. They're heading on down the St. Lawrence toward the open Atlantic. Where they're going to cross the Atlantic, and the next time we see them, we'll be in Scotland. Nothing says Scotland like the Rio Grande, but uh, we just have to ignore that. The train is approaching Port Rousel, but I see we have Porter Dan's cousin here. Okay, and here we are now. We're about to pull into Port Rousel all the way over here to Scotland. So Dave, I see we have a goat in the back of the truck there. What's the name of the goat? Oh, that's Gerty, Gerty the goat. Oh. What do you think, Doris? Oh, Henry, isn't it exciting, awfully exciting to be here in Scotland? I know what you mean, Marge. Yes, yes, I know what you mean. It is really, really good. Oh, yes, and what do you think, Friar? Now you know, Marge, the Friar has a vow of silence. You've always known that. Oh, I know, but I think I was just so terribly excited I forgot.
Well, Conductor Keith is pleased we've arrived safe and sound. Lord Michael is delighted. He's also delighted that over here in Scotland, they're starting to open some Tim Hortons. St. Francis was famous for blessing the animals. So, of course, as a Franciscan, the friar is going around and blessing the various animals here. I see that Conductor Keith has chalked Scotland 04 on the side of the rail car there. You know, I had to come along too, not just Henry Marge and the Friar and Keith and all that. I mean, I had to come yeah, yeah. as well all the way over here to Scotland well, of course, to yes. see you. Now, Dave, the only thing is, um, obviously, the shed is built for you. Yes. Um, it's, it's perfectly fine, Terry. I, I, I don't really see what the problem is. <laughs> no. So, it's a, a pleasure and an honour to have you here, Terry, at the, the Port Rousel and, of course, Rudy Baker. Really, yeah, here yeah, in yeah. Scotland. Um, I hope you had a safe trip over and a comfortable flight. Yeah, it was all really good. Well, the flight was, you know, these guys took the ocean voyage and I should have gone with them because well, the flight was really rough. Yeah, yeah, you probably would have been more comfortable with uh, Henry Marge and the Friar on the barge. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. But we did have yesterday, um, you guys don't know this, but you and I did have an ocean voyage over to I Isla. We did. Well, you know what, Dave? It's uh, You've been a friend for quite a while now, and it's uh, but a friend through like a pen pal. Right? Yeah, yeah. And it's your family's so wonderful. It's been so such a pleasure to be here. I'm so happy to be in Denny, Scotland uh, with you. Well, thank you very much, Terry. As I say, it's been a pleasure having you here. Uh, very entertaining. Oh, we're having a good time here. <laughs> See you later. Bye.